Now let's talk about who talks more. <laughs> <laughs> I love that transition. <laughs> Men or women. We've been talking about it all morning long. We were, Robin and I were just not going to talk mm -hmm. the rest of the show to prove, but that didn't seem right. So we're going to talk about a brand new study that reveals why we are actually hardwired to utter thousands more words per day than men. I know, it's shocking. But we sent ABC's chatty Nick Watt out to investigate. <laughs> Examples of the stereotype are everywhere. I like strawberry instead of vanilla if you have it. If it was not, Sally you know, who met Harry, and these days, hi, hi, Shoshana hi, hi, hi. and HBO's I girls. Um, I just had this like, crazy realization, it's kind of amazing, and I'm going to share it with you right now, okay? Yeah. And then there's Clint. Clearly, women speak more than men. Clearly. It? Clearly. I mean, I, every hairdresser in the world can tell you that's probably true. That's not that's misogynistic or mean. Some say it's a fact. From learning. We took a random two minutes of Kelly and Michael yesterday. Kelly it is not a small world after all. It's a world. uses 43% more words than Michael. And that guy is eloquent. One researcher claims it's 20,000 words on average a day for a woman. Isn't that amazing? 7,000 for a man. I do spend a lot of my time listening to my wife. Uh, oh, I've got to tell you, I have this thing with my sister. Oh, my God. And in my line of work, I do meet some chatty right Cathy. Which is, she didn't come into the office one day and say, I'm going to lose all this weight by this time. She just started doing it. I actually have one of those, like, Hollywood food delivery services. And some laconic men. Is it a date movie? It could be. It really? could be a date movie. Now they say it might be a protein, FOXP2, which is essential for speech. Scientists at the University of Maryland did some exploratory research with rats, and based on what they saw, they now say women might have more of that speech protein than men. We did our own non-scientific survey in Santa Monica at the Luke's lab. They were talking a mile a minute. Different tones that you think are good. Sounds yeah. good. OK. Meanwhile, down the street at Esquire. We don't talk about feelings in the barbershop. Unless you feel like talking about sports. <laughs> Maybe we men should talk about That's emotions. Anyway, do you cut any I wonder hair? why I men and women might have evolved this way. I've always believed that back when men had the big, the big guns and they controlled everything much more than they do today, the only weapons women had were their wits and their words. Interesting. Night, night, sweetheart. Night. Oh, you know what, Nick? I've just realised we've got to get some new suitcases because we're Good going morning, America. Nick Watt, ABC we News, Los Angeles. Like, we're not going to have enough suitcases for me, you and the kids.